Hey everyone, I'm back with a haul of, of lots of different things. Um, seem to be all over the place right now. Um, okay, so let me first share a purchase I made. This one is actually a stamp I purchased from eBay. Um, Diana Markham actually found a stash of her older stamps in her home. And so she was selling them on eBay and I picked up this one because I don't believe I had the Hyacinth yet. I actually have one of these plants. It was a Valentine gift, um, maybe two or three years ago now, and it is still blooming. It's actually getting ready to go um, now that we've got some warmer weather. So I do have this stamp to add to my collection. And there's a number of them that are just, just like this, where they're different flowers. Um, and I do have, I think, a lot of them now. So that's the one stamp I purchased, Woodblock. I have some more art supplies as well. Um, I did purchase um, some things from scrapbookpal.com. I got the small um, blending tools. Let's see. I know I have a blending tool here somewhere. Okay. So here's the larger one. I actually don't um, have one for every... I used to have one for every color, but I don't use them that way. So this is the size comparison of the small one to the larger one. Um, I wanted to try these instead of the um, ones that you put on your finger because the foam on those tends to go very quickly. So I'm wondering if these last longer. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but I'm hoping they do because those tend to deteriorate, deteriorate really quickly. The ones that go like on your little finger, your index finger. Um, I like to use those for certain things. So I got two packets of those. Um, and then I also, Scrapbook Pal had these on sale. So I think I had shown these the last time I went to the art store. Um, they were like eight bucks. Um, Scrapbook Pal had them for five and change. So these are the, the Copic Super Brush nibs. Um, so I bought five. <laughs> I think I'm good for now because um, there's three in a pack. And these are um, handmade in Japan, I believe. Well, they were. I don't know if they still are. Um, if that's the case. Um, so, I'm I'm good with the nibs. Yeah, these are all super brush. I never converted. Well, I converted a few of mine to the bullet tip. I don't prefer the bullet tip for coloring. Um, so yeah, I'm using those. And then I also got um, a couple of new things from the new Lawn Fawn release. And this, again, is still scrapbookpal.com because they have a really low threshold for free shipping. Um, this stamp set is smaller than I thought. I never look at the um, sizes. So uh, it's a veggie, veggie happy add-on. <laughs> so really tiny. I think these would be good for like tags. Um, it's your birthday. Have an upbeat day. Let's catch up. You are so radish. Huh. Uh, you mean the worm to me? I care. Thank you enough. I'm rooting for you. Let us celebrate. Hooray. Woot. And so you get the little icons there. And then I also got these two die sets. Um, stitched garden veggies and stitched root veggies. So I got those. From, okay, from um, Amazon, I purchased some empty half half um, pan watercolor palette, uh, watercolor pans. Um, and they, I purchased the ones with the magnets because I put magnets on the back of mine. And then my watercolors go into a very large empty um, metal uh, pencil tin. So I removed, I think it's a Pablo pencil tin for, for not watercolor, but for pencils, just colored pencils. Um, so because it's a double layer tin, I can put in a lot of watercolors. So I purchased some of these and then some magnets as well. Um, and they were very cheap from Amazon. Um, I forgot to share this, um, enamel, um, tray. This tray is actually from, um, the art store that I went to. I think it's from Jerry's Artorama. And um, this was a reasonable price. A lot of uh, folks use this for a mixing palette. So um, it is also um, made from steel, so it is magnetic. 
Um, and you can actually put watercolors in it if you wanted to, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. And I actually added some feet to the bottom of mine, some plastic feet that I got off of Amazon um, so that I don't mess my table up. It also will not slide now because of the rubber feet on the bottom. And they're sticky, so don't have to worry about that. All right, um, from Jet Pens, this is the last of my haul. Um, so I had purchased, let's see, these two... Um, pencils. These are the 0.9. I got these from the art store, um, 0.9 leads. And this is a 0.9 and this is a 0.5. So two separate pencils. But then I got to looking around and I found these on jet pens. This is, um, what is it called? Nicolo pencil. And it has two, um, two points in it. Uh, one is a 0.5. If you turn, twist it to the left, and then the other one is a 0.3 if you twist it to the right. And I bought two different colors because my plan is to put the lighter um, lead in the white one and the darker lead in the blue one. I actually purchased three. My husband wanted one, so <laughs> he got one too. Um, they have all different colors, but that's the reason why I have two colors here because then I can tell easily by the color of the pencil uh, which is which. So this will be the lighter lighter lead or the harder lead and this will be the softer darker lead um, in the two different sizes and I won't have to carry around a separate pencil like this one although I do like the eraser this does have an eraser by the way I always like the pencils um, I prefer the pencils with um, the fat eraser and one that you don't have to have a cap for because this is just another thing to keep track of um, but I know also I use a, a regular rubber eraser too sometimes. So, um, yeah, I got these two um, size pencils. Um, and then I purchased more different leads from them as well. And some refill erasers for the pencils that I bought. Um, so there's a couple of different lead sizes here. Interestingly enough, I purchased this one right here. It is a 0.32B Pentel. Um, it doesn't fit in this Japanese pencil, even though it's 0.3. The size is somehow different, um, which is interesting. If you try and put this in the pencil, it will fall out. It's it's too small, I should say. So it's interesting. I did um, try this one, which is, the, um, is also Pentel, right? Same brand, um, and this fits in these pencils. So I don't know, I don't know why, but um, this one doesn't fit in there um, and it will just fall out. So that's okay. It didn't cost me that much. Um, so that's fine, but um, it's just a little weird. I do have another 0.3 right here. It was just a regular HB. Um, so yeah, I put them in my two pencils now so I can use them. And if you're ever wondering, I don't know if that matters to you, I did do a sample so you can actually see the difference. Like um, the 0.3 is the smallest or the skinniest, right? And then you have a 0.5 and then I have, of course, a 0.9. And I do have darker, obviously, lead um, in my stash now. Um, I have a 0.7 somewhere, floating around somewhere. Um, but I have those in just a regular mechanical pencil. Let's see if I can find one. Um, that I, you know, got from Walmart or something like that years ago. Um, but I have those lying around. Um, anyway, that's my sort of collective haul for now. And um, I'll be back to share some things hopefully soon. And talk to you later. Bye.